my child. Do not lower your head in supplication to me, but raise your head in recognition of who you truly are. I need you to desperately understand that I am not complete without you. If you cannot feel me, it is because you have chosen not to. You have given all your energies to the delusions of your creation. I say your creation because my creation is only complete when we are one. When you were young, you asked me to let you go out and experience your universal creations in the flesh, to feel joy, sadness, ecstasy, and sorrow, to know what it was like to live veiled in the truth of who you truly were, to create and endure the illusion of death, even though the pain you felt pierced my heart as well. But my child, you have played far too long and you have forgotten your home. You have forgotten that when you wake in the morning and open your eyes, you are viewing the world through my eyes. You are breathing your breath through my lungs and praising or cursing the world through my lips. When I say that you are loved beyond compare, the words fall gently upon your ears and fall into the illusion of the world because you have shut the door of the heart. The door to your home, the door to return to the divine nature of your soul. You are the creator of worlds. You are an aspect of me that knows no pain, no failure, no death. You are the eternal son, daughter of the source of all that is or ever will be. You have risen and fallen on countless worlds and countless universes, loved and lost that which seemed to have had worth, and you were convinced you could not live without and yet. Those lifetimes are but a vague memory causing you to repeat over and over again the quest for riches that do not exist. You are the only creation of the Creator the continual outflowing of the source of all creation. Unable to comprehend your glory because of your choices, you wander and stumble and regain your footing as I watch and wait for you to turn to me and simply whisper, Father, no more. I want to return home and I want to bring my brothers and sisters with me. We are tired of the pain and the suffering that we chose I thank my Father, Mother, God for the opportunity to embrace my creations and dance among the stars, but now what I seek is Thee. As I come closer to Thee, I know that there has always been only love, that You have always given me my free will to rise or fall as the occasion dictates. I now understand that when I was at my lowest point, that the tears that streamed down my cheeks were not from me, but were your tears for a lost child flowing through me. These heavy, cumbersome words cannot express the love you have for me, for they are not heard by the ears. They are not carried by the winds of time. They are gently placed into my heart by a God of compassion a God of love and a God that lives, breathes, and cries for his only creation. Me. I seek not forgiveness, for my Father does not judge. I seek not understanding, for my Father knows all. I seek not guidance, for all I need my Father has already given me. I thank Thee for the freedom to explore, the freedom to stumble, and the freedom to cry. I thank Thee for the freedom to excel, the freedom to create, and the freedom to love. I thank Thee for always being next to me, for enveloping me in Your grace and showing me the true love of a Father-Mother God. I do not love You as the world defines love. I love You as a mother defines love as a newborn defines love, as creation defines love. I am ready to move past this creation. I have learned my lessons. I have had my loves. I have shed my tears. 
My eyes now seek the vibrant colors of the universe, the song of the spheres, the warmth of your eternal embrace. I shed this illusion, I open the door of the heart, and see you standing there waiting, as always with your arms extended, a chorus of angels behind you. The gentle breeze blows away the last vestige of delusion from my eyes, and we melt into your eternal embrace. You are not complete without me, and I am not complete without the love that I left behind so very long ago. So be it. <laughs>